Happy three year anniversary to when we started this. Since this day in 2020, we have been doing a series of build streams to create this entire new version of the planet. And it, it's all come together. It's We're finally in South America. Outside of stream, once we finish today, there's gonna be North South America, which is a very silly region name, but it is what it is. This is not the last build stream, but it is one of the last. We've decided to protect the Amazon on this version of New Earth. So this will simply be preserved. I really hope everyone has enjoyed the project like throughout all the years of doing this, you know? Um, like, I mean, the, the, the idea for this was it's gonna be like the largest build project we just ever did. Kind of inspired by how we did the city plot build where we had this fantastic like metropolis established. Uh, what if we could just keep building on and on and on and on and see what it comes to? And that has been this series for the last three years. YouTube. Hell, like, <laughs> I always wonder, it's like, what's the plan going in? It's like, yeah, I'm gonna need like 48 build height. How many people are building this? You got a full construction crew. These guys have only made like a red square. How coordinated are these people? But this is this is actually a uh, South America that was built off stream. We can have a look at this while we're going here. The how is this staying up hotel? <laughs> Incredible. Got a little airship here as well. Who's this? Agent hmm. It's not quite Agent 47. It's like a cuter version of him. Oh my god. Like, okay, we got we have like little cherry blossoms here and some little homes all the way down here too. He, you found me in a fleshy interior. Just look at the valley here, right? Look at this ridge. And holy sh YouTube, look at this home. Like, the detail on this is insane. This is... This is Mendoza. Oh my god, this is in the entire map from Hitman. This is the entire map. You can actually see it. Here's like the entrance. Holy YouTube, that's impressive. <laughs> oh no! All the people who helped make this whole thing happen. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. What's going on here? We're gonna check out this a bit more. After the incident and modern Paraguay? The incident? This is a history, is it? Paraguay developed quite differently from other South American uh, countries. They encourage self-sufficient economic development, state ownership, most industries, and impose a high level of isolation from neighboring countries. As the Paraguayan independence was the Paraguayan War, also known as the War of the Triple Alliance. That war, Paraguay found itself at war with Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay at the same time. The war is considered to be the most devastating war to have ever happened in South America. About 60 to 70% of the entire Paraguayan population died. Up to 90% of all males. Like, oh, holy sh YouTube. The post-war woman-to-man ratio of 4 to 1. In some areas as bad as 20 to 1. This war is proportionally one of the most destructive wars in modern times for any nation state. She had like 90%. Ah, uh, who we've got a big cat friend. Hang on. This is a tribute to both the uh Pantano Wetlands Wildlife, as well as the nonprofits trying to preserve it, such as the Jaguar Identification Project. It was a female Jaguar named Patricia, recognized by the L-shaped spot circle in her right eye. And I just want to have a look. Oh, they've actually done the L with a little flag in it, bless. It doesn't do the IUCN is deemed to be near threatened a morbid dog person anyway. <laughs> Jesus. He's put all this love- they, they, they put all this love into the build, right? I don't think they're just gonna insert that, but it's like, And you know, let him die. I don't think that's the message here. The Bad Piggy's main theme? Angry Birds, is it? That's really good. Holy YouTube. It's so good. I mean, like, no joke. Uh, 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 this goes out to Ayn and, like, you know, the note block gang on this server. You've got to make, like, a YouTube channel or something where you upload all your creations, just have them in one place. Because, like, it, it's genuinely amazing. So much work always goes into these. Like, that's phenomenal. That, that's, that's so impressive. I think that's all that needs to be said. Oh, we got another, like, little pride plaza here, I think. We found it, the gender flu. <laughs> ah, yes, a sacred spring in the mountains. 
Stand in the middle of the carpets 1,000 times the time. Oh, okay, well, I mean, this this has actually worked out quite well. I think time is paused at the moment. They've actually, you, you, you've designed like YouTube, Newbridge or something like that in Ireland. We have one of these as well. It's like a burial chamber that like only catches the sun, like for the winter solstice. Newgrange, sorry, isn't it? The sun has been caught. It's not new grounds, no. What what is happening here? Open the door. You who watch and know and understand none, you who listen and hear and will not comprehend, you who wait and wait and drink in all that is not yours by right, come to us in your holiness, come to us in your perfection, bring all that is fear and all that is terror and all that is the awful dread from the Magnus Archive. I, I don't know what that is. Well, I'll take your word for it. It's an impressive build. Ah, Warhammer 40k. <laughs> No, it's not that. It's a horror podcast. Okay. You guys could say anything. And it's like, I'll just be like, oh, that's fascinating. Like, yeah. So basically, you know, this is just like a, a popular saying in Argentina. You know, it means like to wish your neighbor a good day. Oh, okay. That's fascinating. Let's go. <laughs> okay. It's the uh, Tears of the Kingdom house. Incredible. Thank you for a faithful and accurate recreation of how this looks. Oh, is this another Barbie dream house? <laughs> I oh, actually made it nicer. You can actually use the balcony in this one. Sold separately. Oh, it's so funny. What is, what is this for? Oh, I mean, of course. Of course, that, that just makes sense. So much stuff just dotting the mountains here as well. It's really impressive. We got a statue here. Simon Bolivar, is it? Insert book here. I don't think they've filled that in yet. It's an impressive looking statue. I imagine this is some kind of historical figure. The Liberator of South America. The reason South America got independence. Gotcha. It's a cool statue. Olivia is named after him. Oh yeah, Bolivar, ain't it? Yeah. That makes sense. He leads Grand Colombia in Civ 6. Now I know him. Now I know him. That's my gamer reference. Tangible point of comparison. Yes, I know exactly who you're talking about now. <laughs> Who's that? What's going on with this lad? Recreation of the man base from Hole Diggers Incorporated by the Yogs cast. Oh, okay, right. I, I don't know if I've seen that one. It, incredible. It does look like something the Yogs cast would create. This looks cool here as well. I don't know if there's a way in. It's like the entrance to an underground here. The trains. Oh my god. You, you've made like an entire underground complex here. H how do you do this? It's a full train station. There's so much happening here. It's all underwater too. The, the, the ceiling is dripping a little bit. The scale is incredible. Here's the credits for the area. Here's everyone that was involved in it, yeah. Base builders of the train station who all got addicted to night vision potions leading to devastating side effects that would torment them forevermore. Lest we forget. Lest we forget. They have a whole story here with night vision potions. Night vision rehab go in for three weeks. Definitely not an escape. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I can escape. They've wired this up. Like, this is all under this bay. And holy YouTube. Look what's in the bay. We didn't even look this direction. Oh my god. This is such a colossal area. Oh my god. Have you heard about the sewer city? Yeah, there's many ways to get in. What's the sewer city? They, they've literally made a city down here too. This is all just down here. City is actually three separate ones that each expanded so much they all ended up kind of merging together. I mean, th that's that's still so cool. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're just they're just hanging out. Like I can't get over how much is here. What the f YouTube is happening in here, guys. Like holy sh YouTube. How the f YouTube have you done this? Oh my god. This is this is so hidden as well. They, they've made a colossal mountain. It's the mines of Moria. The New World Order presents Erebor. Jesus Christ, guys. Here's our dwarfs. Gone to the Misty Mountain. That That is insane. Uh, that's This is just existed in the same space as this colossal city. The scale of this dragon. A one-to-one -one recreation of Benedict Cumberbatch. I love this YouTube high in the bed. These dads out so much. Oh God, you did myself here. <laughs> What do you think it means? I think it's a Banksy. <laughs> ah, close enough. Yeah, we didn't even get over to like the massive complex over here. <laughs> like, look at this, like, there's a whole like diorama here. 
Daedalus Industries. We didn't even see this before. Holy YouTube. Massive flying ship. Who keeps getting blown off the side? Like, this has its own, like, like crew and little population, too. I was so convinced you would miss the entire underground city. I don't worry. We, we caught it. We caught it. If you actually look under this mountain, there's, like, a, a second under... Guys, what the f- YouTube. <laughs> what the f- How have you done this? Oh my god, this- Okay, so, I think they made, like, a boat transport system. Under the entire continent. Welcome to, uh... Palacio de los Lopez, which is in, uh, Asuncion, Paraguay, and it's the president's house. Set your pee time to 1800 and see how it lit up at night with brilliant colors. Okay, hang on. So time, set, night. That is quite spectacular color-wise. Mr. Frog, thank you for the 12 good as well. Thank you to everyone for helping make Erebor. Also those who helped make a Moria after the Brazil stream. Uh, many, many thanks to, to URT for the past three years. Wait, hang on. What do you mean you built Moria? <laughs> How the f YouTube thieves do this? <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys! In the name of Durin. I not follow the void in the books. They never told it was so deep. This is Kazan Doom. We will retake our homeland. I wonder what the pressure plate does. Oh, they built the entire f YouTube. My this just keeps going. <laughs> this just keeps going. There, there's an oak block built down here. Hang on. Oh, it's a classic. Four hundred thousand blocks were dug to make Moria. Jesus, guys. <laughs> diggy diggy hole. It's so good. That's just down here. Oh, well, apparently there's a lot of water above. There's been like a lot of like even developments here, like off stream. Like the statue, we saw it as a work in progress before. It looks spectacular. Like that's, that's actual art. Allo Brazil is a different build. <laughs> oh there's just there's just an underground. It ju it just keeps going. Oh my god, like we're clipping through the terrain just in a desperate attempt to see this. Oh my god. There's something about the giant sculpture and you're going to Brazil. Welcome to Brazil. Do I dare ask if I have a fleshy interior? <laughs> yes, yes I do. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's stop the music. Are we gonna- uh, Do we just listen to the whole thing? Oh, I have heard this. I remember this. The lyrics are in time! It's 7,000 note blocks. To make this. 7,000. When are we gonna just log into the server and someone's like, I've made a computer. Cause I, Cause I feel like that's the next step. Someone's gonna have, like, a working computer on the Minecraft server. Oh my god. Uh, that's insane. There's another one here. Uh, Garota de Ipanema? I feel like I've heard this somewhere before. This is- this is- this is fantastic. It's actual bossa nova, yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Don't tell- no. No. <laughs> no. Construct- cow? By Chico Barak? A block by Kevon. Many thanks to my fellow builders. Soraya, Light Avenger, and Grey Wolf. Chico Baraka is a Brazilian singer-songwriter who builds his reputation in Bossa Nova, in Brazilian popular music. He was part of the Tropicala musical movement, and having written a play deemed dangerous, the Brazilian government began to threaten him. In 1969, he left Brazil for Italy and self-proclaimed exile. Through this exile, which lasted to 1972, composed Constracao, 
escaped in protest against the regime. While his work would continue to be suppressed by the government censors, he would conceal, continue to protect, conceal protests in his music. Hi, editor's note here. This song was so excellently done that it actually flags the copyright for the original version of this song. Uh, we had this happen on the VOD archive channel when the VOD for this stream went live. So we can't play it here because as far as YouTube is concerned, we have lifted the original song. But I definitely recommend go to the VOD channel and give it a listen there. Okay, well it's taken two hours, uh, but maybe it's time to check out what people are currently building. Uh, where we started today's stream. Maybe it's actually time to hop around to them. Oh my god, there's some really insane things. The fucking muffin. I will come back to these in a moment. I have to see the muffin. Oh, but they've made it like a cupcake friend too. It's a sheep. How do people do this so quickly? Schematics. This is muffin. Oh, someone's made the spaceship from Amogus. Wow. <laughs> actually, it's quite impressive. So, some sus going on with this build, guys. <laughs> I think they're- I think they might be an imposter! And it's 2023, I can't take much more. We've had to endure, like, sus jokes for three years now. Okay, massive TARDIS here. Is it? Is it? Well, there's actually not much going on in the inside currently. How's it going, one hand around? There might be soon. I'm still building the TARDIS, please hold. No, you're fine, you're fine, I know. <laughs> I'm just, I, like, like, work in progress build, you're clearly, you know, I, I still got time ahead of you and that, you're working on it. Here's Mr. Streamer rolling up, it's like, huh, this one looks a bit shit, gamers. Huh, couldn't even finish it in time. Like, no, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Poor guy's only working with one hand to give him a break. He hates his fans. I want to talk to HR game, please. And we got some farms over here. It's so colorful, though. I, 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 God, I wish I could build cool YouTube. If I ever play regular Minecraft again, I'm just gonna be sad. <laughs> oh, look at the turtles making their way in, too. Bless them. Hello, hello, thank you for visiting. Check the turtles' backs for facts. Turtle shells are made of over 50 bones fused together. They also have white spongy bones that help them float. Turtles don't have teeth. Instead, they have a beak, which is made of, uh, keratin. Oh, I actually didn't know that. There are seven species of marine turtle. The Hawksbill, Loggerhead, Letterback, Olive Ridley. That that just sounds like a person thrown in. Green, Flatback, and Kemp's Ridley. The first few years are known as the lost years. This is because the first 20 years they spend at sea. Uh, so they're hard to study when you don't know where they are. Just go into the ocean. Marine turtles can greatly vary in size. The smallest can be around 70 centimeters and weigh about 40 kilos. The largest species can be 180 centimeters and weigh 500 kilos. That's a big turtle. Estimated only one in a thousand turtles reach adulthood. They face many dangers such as predators. And plastics. It might be from the Barbie house. We're sorry. Oh no. Oh, is this Easter Island? <laughs> oh, bless you. It's Maui, isn't it? Maui are monolithic statues uh, typical of Rapa Nui. Uh, and they're the main attraction for tourists. There are more than 9,000 scattered all around the island, mostly around the perimeter. That is known about them, the most common theory is the Polynesian colonizers of the island sculpted them between the IX and the 16th century. It's Moai, is it? Moai, thank you. And 16th century is a representation of deceased ancestors, so they would cast their mana upon the descendants. Because of this, they were to be placed looking to the interior of the island, except for the seven placed in Ahu Kivi. These seven were placed looking to the outside. I can say it's because the priest of Hatumatu once dreamt that the king's soul felt flew across the ocean. When the island was seen by him, they had sent scouts to locate the island and find people to settle there. Seven of those scouts stayed in the island, uh, waiting for the king to arrive. These seven are represented by the seven statues erected in their honor. In fact, ten or so statues have been removed from the island, transported to locations around the world, uh, like the Louvre and the British Museum in London. This bit does not surprise me. Uh, <laughs> YouTube. Like, the amount of the ancient Egypt exhibit in the British Museum in London is, like, actually shocking. Like, they took the walls of places. They took the goddamn walls. Oh, look at these guys. They're just dancing away. Oh, that's that's actually like perfect like texture for like the dress and that. That's, that's actually so well done. Oh, it's, is it forever her world? Forever her world. I, I do see this monolithic structure here, by the way. Holy YouTube guys, on the horns. <laughs> We're gonna, I think, come back and look at this one in particular right at the end. We got a mighty Colosseum here. Lovely weather today. 
the Sparta wrong movie, dude. Coliseum is, you know, I forget it. You know what a Coliseum is, but why is it in Argentina? We all know the Romans discovered the Americas first. That's a joke. Argentina during the early 1900s had a large wave of Italian immigration. Many sudden Italians due to crippling poverty moved to the... To New York and the US and to Argentina. In the early 1900s, you would have had heard more Italian in Argentina than Spanish on the streets. So why the, as to why the Colosseum to re represent this, eh, it's cool. Anyways, plus two culture, plus two loyalty, plus two amenities to all cities within six tiles. So all this fascinating history, fascinating trivia, you know. But speaking as a gamer, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, we got like Barbie movie land or something. Surfer Ken. He's having the best day. Zen Island once more. This is part of the Zen Island series. There's been many of these. It's me, Bob, been loving it. Uh, love it here. No meteors above my house. I feel like there's something else above your house, though, Bob. Was this built? Was it? Holy sh YouTube. This was built today. <laughs> it's so detailed. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. Oh no, the gingerbread. <laughs> this cookie seems tasty. And of course, he's got a fleshy interior. But <laughs> here's like the bridge. Handsome Shrek. And all the guards. Giga Chad guard. Incredible. Another volcano? No, it is the poop cano from City Skylines. Oh, finally. We have a. It, it's not a fleshy interior. It's a YouTube interior. <laughs> oh, it's the tower from Tangle. Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> the fucking hair just dangling out of it is very funny. It's spaghetti. <laughs> okay, uh, what is this? 31 minutos? Is it? How's it going? Oh, sorry, I didn't interrupt the build, did I? really good though. That's really well done, yeah. Now, thank you for that. In the 2014 Football World Cup final, Germany beat Argentina 1-0. This was after a 7-1 uh, win against Brazil. I just thought I'd build this because a uh, Germany-Brazil build is in Brazil. As a German myself, I felt like I needed to build this. Oh no, not another like famous football defeat. We've had a few of these. <laughs> You criminal. <laughs> uh, you forgot the tour, uh, Melanesia? Uh, which sucks because that's where I built the full song of Country Roads. No, oh, I- I did, didn't I? I'm almost certain we did. I could have sworn that we visited here. I remember visiting here and that. Oh god, okay, I don't- I remember that actually. I don't remember- oh my god. How do we miss that specific bit? Cause I- cause I remember all this. And now I don't know what's real anymore. I could have sworn we did. He's going senile. You literally forgot to tour the entirety of China too, Daniel. It's been months. No, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Stop it. We toured China. Excuse me. I remember this. I remember touring this. We did. I am being gaslit currently. This is the relic song from Pokemon Black and White. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's lovely. So common. Love the relic song. So few people have heard it as well. Because it was locked behind that event in Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2. Like, so few people have ever actually heard this. It's one of the best pieces of Pokemon music, though. Oh, that our, that our eldritch deity has been awoken. Did it when dragons die, their bodies become elements. If this is Tears of the Kingdom. There'd be like a pair of boots or something in here. <laughs> it's just a bottle of Febreze. It's me killing every Dark Souls boss. You stinky. Febreze, fun fact. The name Febreze is a combination of fabric and breeze. The name is an example of the Mandela effect. People say they remember the name being spelled Febreze with two E's. Wait, it's not? The active ingredient in most uh, Febreze products. Febreze is hyperdroxylpropyl beta cyclotrixin. Cyclodextrin. The mist can kill any demon you use it on, even gods. I bet I know. Hey guys, I won my in here. I've claimed the Falkland Islands for no good reason. I just want to preserve some nature. 
The Falklands have been taken. But honestly, they're looking pretty good. What is going on with this? This is like a massive structure. Farmer 40k battleship. Oh, okay. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. A much smaller one before we wanted to make a big lad. A big lad objective achieved. And for some reason, I thought this was in relation to Oppenheimer just because the Barbie dream house is down there. But, I mean, this is, this is probably going to have a similar effect. <laughs> the YouTube is going on there. <laughs> Do we ever go in this building? No flesh. Oh, they have like some instruments here, is it? There's pipes and that, yeah. This is supposed to be Latin-based instruments given just how much dancing is present in Argentina, cu Argentina, Argentina culture. There's tango, uh, malamo, uh, cumbia, uh, chacarera, zamba, merga, and uh, cuarteto, to name a few. I'm saying the bombo uh, crilio is made of a hollowed out tree trunk. Uh, it's then covered in animal skin. The drum comes from the old European military drums that resemble the Bombo Crudo. Which will be added later as the build goes on. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, you can see the instruments. Bread flute, aka the Siku. Oh, the house from up. Oh, of course, because this is where they're trying to get to in the movie, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, why not? Car Carol's not looking too good. Notice it's Zabka? Didn't we have a Zabka? Wasn't this... Was this the Polish store? This guy loves his Zapkas. Late player uh, on the scene to like the Tesco population. You know, he wants to add something different and leave his mark. Oh. Friend. Uh, Magellanic Penguins. My attempt at Magellanic Penguin. Named after the Portuguese explorer uh, Ferdinand Magellan. Uh, when he found them in 1520. The little guys live all throughout uh, southern South America. With uh, Ila de los Estados here. One of their breeding areas. Well, they usually stay down south, some will be found as far north as Brazil. Some really brave ones have been found all the way in El Salvador, Australia, and New Zealand. Oh, like he went to Australia. That's so far. The seventh largest penguin in the world. But we don't want to learn about their feeding or breeding habits, so I'll leave you with one last fun fact. He's <laughs> you don't learn how to learn how barbaric and monstrous, you know. Their mating rituals are. So here's a fun fact. These guys are ranked as least concerned on the conservation status that are not don't worry about them going extinct anytime soon. I'll offer this book, so check out the next one to learn about. Hilo de los Estados. Inhabited by the Yamana people uh, before it was discovered by the Spanish naval captain Francisco de Hoques in 1526. The ship got separated from a Spanish expedition because of a storm. Dutch explorers Jacob Le Marie and Willem Schoten found it again. Uh, found it again. It's funny how that works. Like, we lost the island. We have to, like, rediscover it. Uh, you know, and this is the famous... Anime character Jim Naruto. I hear he's quite popular. Um, you know, he's the protagonist in like the One Piece live series. I think Netflix made. Goku is a very important character here in Latino America, so I decided to build a statue to honor him. Goku Lagana a Todos? Is he actually? Does he have a huge following here? Oh, I was just messing around. John Dragon Ball. He does. It's like a religion there. Dragon Ball Z is huge. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, well, let's stop by here. Because you guys, you guys made a special something earlier in the stream. How's it going, gang? Saying thank you to me, but thank you to all of you. Like, seriously. Oh, give some massive thank you to the mods as well. Like, honestly. I'm just pointing the camera at the end of the day. And ending by Toby Fox. <laughs>
Certified society moment. Welcome toe to toe room. <laughs> Incredible. It's nice to meet you. There goes the permadeath run. No. Why immortalize this? Why? It's targeted harassment at this point. Is he here? Oh, it's Jefferson, my beloved. We haven't seen him in a while. Splatoon 3 stream. Oh no. And you don't understand, we must break even. I can win Penrose, also known as Bin Benrose. Sounds about right. God, there's so much that's gone into this. Minecraft block as well. It's like the sky block thumbnail. Where it's dissolving. It's an attempt at my poetry. Rose of red violets and blue all die someday. But while that's true, life is full of beauty despite all of its cruelty. Bless you. <laughs> we'll all die someday. Just end the poem there. Wow. But thank you everyone as ever for taking part in the new earth project. It is insane how much has been done with this. I am so thankful to have you and just have you taking part in it, you know? I really hope people have enjoyed this project these past three years. It's been incredible to watch unfold and see. Really can't thank you enough. Now, we're not done yet. There is still a new build site that is going to open in South America. You guys are going to be able to build away there after the stream. I thought for a final build, because the one that inspired this one was the city plot build. We make one more city plot build and we denote it as the capital of New Earth. The capital city. And the, the theme of this build will be New Earth. And I think that would be a good one to, as a final send off.